Hi again, YouTubers. So it is this time of the month for face of the month. And this face of the month, uh, one of the key items that I really enjoy using lately that I wanted to tell you guys about is the Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream. And this is the main foundation that I am using in this. And I use the term foundation lately because it is a CC cream, but it has the most amazing coverage. So uh, you may or may not see MJ throughout the video popping in back here. Uh, I had just gotten out of the shower and I actually blue dry my hair today. I don't do that that often anymore. So uh, it's just kind of straight and it is what it is. I need to have it trimmed up a little bit, I think. And uh, a couple more highlights put in for summertime, but we'll see when I have time to do that. So we are gonna get started. All right, so first things first, and you may or may not see MJ running around back out here. He, uh, tart CC corrector under the eye. Or you hear him playing with the toy down there. Um, this stuff is awesome. I've tried all different kinds, and this one just seems to work. It's smooth, but it's also tacky. It has, like, a good combination of both, and really just kind of helps you get that, like, coverage you want. I have been using and loving the Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Complexion Corrector Anti-Aging Sunscreen Complexion Corrector Tint in One Help Protect Against Help Protect Brighten and Moisturize. I have two colors. I am I'm pretty much light to medium but a little bit of the medium tan just kind of helps even it out right now. Same thing I always do. I use my little coaster. People ask me all the time where these are from. It is just a coaster from, it was like Pier 1 or Target. So this is all I use for my whole face, uh, pretty much. I add a little bit of the medium tan to it. Mommy. I just put a little bit in through Mommy. there. So that's it. Mommy. Yes, buddy. I'm not frozen. So I take that little bit, uh, It Cosmetics 115 brush. Sometimes I use the Sedona Lace. 480. The 480 is dirty right now, so I am using the It Cosmetics. I just kind of like, I brush it through and kind of work where's it in. That, where's the colors? Right there. And then I just kind of like work it onto my face. And I do it in little sections. Now, my girlfriend Sarah told me that she loves this with her fingers. I don't know. I'm a brush kind of girl. I just like brushes. I don't know why. I also don't like having my fingers dirty. So that's probably a lot of it. <clears throat> Goodness, excuse me. Um, okay, so let's see here. So what's new? I'll be going to the Cape this month. So excited about that. Um, <clears throat> I kind of go over my eyes just a little bit, but it's the last thing I do, kind of. And I just kind of, if you can see, I'm just pressing it in. I'm not, like, rubbing it. Um, there's not much on here. I'm just, like, using what's left. Um, so going back to the Cape, I'm excited for the summer and for it to be nice out. Um, I am loving, loving, loving doing the Stella and Dot, like, more than I ever thought I would. Um... I think you guys, by now, I think the haul went up on Monday, but I um, did a haul video with a giveaway, so go check that out, of a Stella and Dot necklace that's for the fall <clears throat> preview collection, um, or preview of the fall collection, does that make more sense? Um, and so that's really fun, and I'll, I probably actually, I will have, come to think of it, I'm going to put that necklace on after I finish getting ready. Urban Decay Naked Powder in Light Neutral. Somebody asked me what color I have in that. I And then the It Cosmetics. Really hate this, like 225. I hate that it's on a mirrored thing because I can't ever see it. I am really down to pan on this. And I just kind of put that in the center of my face. Is all I really use that for. So yeah, so loving it. Um, trying to think if there's any specials going on right now. There are still some sale items going on right now. Um, I have been using the Vita Liberta bronzer. It's supposed to be a self tanner bronzer. Mm, no. So I've been using that with the brush that comes with it. Um, I just usually use whatever's on the lid. There's a whole bunch in there, but I use what's on the lid. Mommy, I want all right, go get them. I um, 
I just start on the outer corners of my cheeks and then bring it down three and E. I feel like you really have to like work at it to get, you'll see the difference in a second. <laughs> I just, this stuff, I do not like it as a self tanner at all, but it is gorgeous as a bronzer. Like it does not do anything for self tanning, but it is just the prettiest, most natural bronzer. Like if you just want natural looking, this is amazing. So that's that part. Then I have been going on to eyes, NARS Pro Prime. Um, I come and go on what my thoughts are on this. I'm gonna be honest with you. One minute I love it, the next minute I'm just like, sometimes I wonder if it's the shadows that are really the issue and not really the primer, you know? So it's kind of funny, but yeah. So anyway, um, June, we're in June. So June has a special going on if anybody has ever considered. Um, Anastasia Brow Wiz, I'm looking for my soft brown one. Got it? Um, if anyone is interested there or has ever considered selling Stella and Dot, there's a special going on for the month. It's pretty cool that um, it's $199 to sign up. And um, if you meet your requirement and your jump start, which is pretty easy, um, you get that $199 back in rebate. Like you get it back, meaning not rebate as in products. You actually get it back as if you were being paid that. Um, so it become, and you get $350 worth of jewelry for that $199. So it's pretty cool. So for $199, you sign up and you get $350 in jewelry. And if you sell a certain amount in your jump start, then you get that back, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, I like that concept. So wish they had that when I signed in. But I actually went with a higher package, so maybe that wouldn't have worked for me. You never know. So, ever since I got the Botox back, um, my forehead, my eyebrows are still staying arched, which was a big thing I talked to her about when I did that again. I was like, I want to make sure my eyebrows stay arched. So, I've been going back to using um, one of my MAC, just like build your own type of palettes. Um, I've been using this brush, which is a Smashbox tapered shadow brush looks like this um, and I've been using the color I think it's called kid it is called kid it doesn't look like much but it's actually very pretty on it just does this pretty look so I've been putting that on my lid it looks much more brown if you can see the difference um, when you look at it in the pan versus when it's physically on your eye I think it was Lola Marie 7 that told me about this one day is either that or Vanessa, the bombshell suite, one of these two told me this combination and really, I really liked it. But I think they use Baroque, which I do have, but I just find it easier to use Max Soft Brown. Looks like this. And the Pro Taper number 19 brush. Gosh, my lips are dry. And then I just put this in the crease. I haven't used MAC shadows in a while. I don't know what, I think one of them talking about this sparked my interest to pull mine out and use it. They're always right here, but it's one of those things that I'm usually trying a new palette or something fun. Um, the Pro Sephora Pro number 15, little small smudger brush, and Max Naked Lunch. Uh, I just take this, tap it off, and I put a little bit up on my brow bone. just to give a little bit of light and then I take whatever's left on that inner corner there. Um, I am going to do under my lash line too, but I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, let's see here. The um, lash extensions, if you follow my blogs, did not last me. So you probably didn't see them in my last face of the month and they're not on for this face of the month. Curl my lashes um, because they only lasted me like two weeks. I went to somebody new and it just didn't work out. So I'm going to go back to the person I used to go to um this week actually nice oh yay i'm so excited it's this week um so you'll see that in my most recent vlog that'll probably be up next week boy that's it's kind of funny it's kind of hard to follow everything um and i just kind of keep pumping it 
like a couple times. I don't know, just what I do. Estee Lauder Sapphire Eyeliner. Oh, I need to sharpen that bad boy. I'm getting rough. Alrighty. So I go in on my top waterline, tight line, whatever word you want to use. Can you hear him back there talking? Playing with those guys. He's big in the Legos. Those are his big Legos, like big kid Legos. Um, I have been using this sam sample of Lancome Definicils. Um, all started because a friend of mine, I had told her about Lancome mascaras and her lashes looked awesome uh, when we went to dinner one night when we were in Massachusetts, my friend Tara. Um, her lashes looked amazing. And so I pulled a sample, one of mine out, to give it another shot since my lash extensions aren't staying. I just pulled a, just saw a lash come off. Um, and so I've been using this again. I forgot how much I love Lancome mascaras. It's funny because I recommend them to people, but you tend to forget how great they are when you're not using them all the time. So, totally lost my trance out of what the heck I was talking about. So, the next thing, uh, the Lancome Waterproof Concealer. Put this under my eyes. Now, if I want to just, I'll show you a couple different steps of what I do here. Of, if I want to just like be done and go versus um, if I want a little bit more drama and things like that. I went back to using the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Powder Foundation in three. Somebody told me they're getting rid of this. I don't know. Sephora Pro 56 brush. Uh, swirl it in there and then I use it to set under my eyes. I love that stuff. Like The Besame is really nice. But Besame in the summer looks a little bit too yellow on me. So, all right, so one of two options that I tend to do. Um, I take a Sephora Pro number 18 smudger brush and that soft brown with a little bit of kid mixed in, I mix them together, tap it off, and I smudge under my eye. Can you see the difference between those two eyes? Okay, and then do the same thing with the other side. Okay, and then I, if I, and so I can be just done right there as far as my eyes. Or if I want a little bit more drama, I use that sapphire again. Do you see the difference between those two eyes? It helps if I look in the mirror, not in the camera. My eyes always water when I do that. Now I do go back in with that smudger brush. I don't add any other product, but I make sure I kind of wipe it off and smudge it in and just kind of smudge that to make it a little bit more intentional looking so it doesn't look so stark. So there's that. If I want to do that, wipe that off. Um, back to bronzer's done. Liner, my brain, brain's not like working. It Cosmetics. What is this brush? It's another one of those silver ones. Gosh. 227. I have been using and loving the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion, the peach colored one. And I just go all on my cheekbones. Or my, I mean, my apples and my cheeks out. Like right up to my cheekbone. I also always just tap a little bit up through there. So there's that. Um, Guerlain Meteorites. Some days I use this, some days I don't. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Today I feel like using it. And this is a Sedona Lace 980 brush. I love this brush for this these pearls. So soft. And just so nice and so pretty. I love the look of these. They're awesome. Um, if I really want to bump it up, I might even grab a highlighter. Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder 01. 
With the hourglass, I don't really feel like I need this, but every once in a while I just feel like doing it. And that is the Sephora Pro 54 brush. It is kind of a thinner, longer version of the 56. So there's that. On to lips. I have gone back to using the Too Faced Melted, Melted Nude um, Lip stuff. I don't know what this is called. Liquid lipstick. When I've been doing the peachy look. In the summer, I don't grab for lip liners as much. There's that. And if I feel like it, I grab a gloss. I've been using the Urban Decay Naked in the color Naked. I just like these two together. I just think they look good together. So I am going to blow dry my hair, which you will have seen at the beginning. Haven't done that in a really, really long while. Um, and I did it like last week randomly. And I was like, ooh, I kinda like it. So I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and I will catch up with you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I finished blow drying my hair, finished getting ready, uh, and uh, I'm pretty much good to go. Necklaces that come together, so kind of two for the price of one. Um, you can wear them together, you can wear them separate, and both of them as well also come with an extender. So there's two extenders as well, so you can make them as long or as short as you want. Um, this is just how I chose to wear this one today. I have on the color block cuff on this wrist in the citrus because it goes with my shirt and I have on a pair of blue shorts and then I have on the caddy wrap that I wear all the time um, on this wrist in the summertime because it's just light and easy I think I might end up pulling this part of my hair back I haven't decided all right so that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this please let me know if you have any other questions and thanks so much for watching guys have a great day bye